Okay, so to install JavaFX, first we're going to assume that you have uh, the Java JDK 14 installed, which I do right here. And you can see that's the only thing I have installed. Go into my Java Virtual Machines, check out the JDK. That is the only one I have installed. So now we are going to go grab the download. So we'll search JavaFX download. And go here. Go let's skip right here down to the download. And go to the latest release. So this one has a long term support that's uh through the GDK eleven. But we're interested in the latest release, which is Java FX fourteen. And we're gonna hit the downloader on the SDK. And I already had that downloaded, so I'm going to re-download it. And we're going to grab this, and we're going to open up a finder, and go to the, as I showed you, which is command G, do library, Java, Java virtual machines, and go into that folder right there, and add the JavaFX SDK. And it says that we need to authenticate it using our username and password. Go ahead with that. All right, now that we have it in the correct spot, we can get out of here. And I'm actually going to be following the uh, IntelliJ um, JetBrains um, tutorial for it and explaining it through this. And I will leave this link in the description as well. OK. So now we'll open up uh, IntelliJ. So once we open up IntelliJ, uh, before we open up a new project, we need to go into configure and set up the structure for new projects. So this is going to set it up for every single time we open up a new project. So we actually need to go to the global libraries. We're going to add global library at Java. And it will be, we need to go to the Java FX folder. So mine was already manually there, but just to show you uh, the JVMs and then go into Java FX SDK, go into lib, and we're going to select all 22 files except for the source that zip. And you're going to name it something useful. So Java FX 14. Okay. And once that's done, so now we can open up a new project. And it, was, it would probably be automatically selected into Java, but actually one of the default ones in IntelliJ is JavaFX. So we'll go down to JavaFX. And we will hit Next. And start a new project. OK, so now we're in here. And you see a bunch of red, which is always a bad sign. So actually, what we need to do is first, all we did when creating a new project is that we add, added the global library. Now, that sets it so that for every project, they can access that library. But we did not set it so that this project specifically would access that library. So what we need to do is go into the project structure. And we go down to first make sure they have selected the correct SDK 14 on the project. And then we need to go down to the global libraries. And we see that our JavaFX 14 is here. So that's good. And we just right click on it and add it to the modules. Okay. And now that when we go to the modules, we see that JavaFX 14 is over here. So that's what we need. Now we see that all the red is gone. So we can go ahead and try to run it. And we see that it doesn't even launch. And there's a bunch of uh, error messages that come out. And the reason these error messages come out is because we did not set the VM options. So if you go back into IntelliJ and scroll down to where it says add VM options, OK? 
So all we need to add is this specific line here, and this needs to be done for every single new project that we project that we do. So we'll just copy this, and where it says path to FX, we need to change that to the path to FX to Java FX uh, SDK. So we'll go ahead and we'll go into run and then edit configurations as I just did, and then we'll paste this into here, and then we need path to FX. So to get path to FX. We go to the finder and we go to virtual machines and right here, grab lib and then we're going to right click and then hit option, copy lib as path name. Okay, and I'm going to paste this. Right. In so I'm going to paste that right, right in where uh, PetFX was highlighted, and just hit OK, and go ahead and launch it again. And you can see that it launches perfectly fine. And so we can do this with one more project that is a little bit more complicated, so that shows shows you that it actually works. Okay, as you can see here, there's no red going on, and I've already set the VM options for this one uh, from before. So we can go ahead and run it. And it runs totally fine. It is just a simple math app, GUI. So what we've done is, firstly, we downloaded the JavaFX SDK 14. Secondly, we set the configurations for new projects. We added it to the global libraries uh, so that for each time we can just add it, add the global library to the modules. And also we've set the VM options. Now those last two things, the adding it to the modules and setting the VM options are gonna need to be done every time. Uh, typically I just create a new project and uh, copy it from, from the run edit configurations and copy the VM options and put it into the, into the new uh, edit configurations of the new project. And those are the same. And it'll work.